today's video, grab a little cup of coffee. I've got mine, yummy. This video is for crocheters who want to learn how to crochet but don't know where to start. So a lot of times when people say they want to learn how to crochet or they reach out to me, it's because they A, saw a picture of something crocheted and they're like, I want to make that or they just in general want to learn how or have always wanted to or whatever. This video is kind of going to break down where you should start, kind of a couple of my tips and tricks, and then my description box is going to have all my links. So I've done tons of crochet videos that are geared toward beginners, absolute beginners, beginners, and then confident beginners. So it's kind of three different categories and I'll have everything laid out in a blog post all nice and tidy so that you have everything that you need to get started. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna share is yarn choice. This is huge because when you are first learning how to crochet, uh, you might go to the yarn store and you see all this beautiful yarn, uh, but most of it you should not pick <laughs> for your first projects. And that's because you wanna be able to see what you're doing. So there's lots of yarn that looks like this super fuzzy or very dark colors <laughs> or something with lots of texture to it. I mean, this is beautiful yarn, but you should not pick that for your first project, okay? Because you'll drive yourself crazy, you won't be able to see what you're doing, and you're gonna get frustrated. So you wanna pick something more like that. A standard worsted weight yarn, a size four, and you wanna pick something that is a pretty color that you won't hate looking at <laughs> and something in kind of a medium color. So like this color is great because you'll be able to see what you're doing. It's not too light, not too dark. Um, and then when you pick your yarn, also pick something inexpensive. Like every yarn company has a line like this. That's like a standard worsted weight, you know, red heart, Super Saver, a Red Heart with Love is great. Vanish Choice from Lion Brand. The Joanne, uh, Big Twist. Um, every, all of the yarn companies have them. You'll be able to find it really easily. My absolute beginner project that I'm gonna link to um, down below is a washcloth. So cotton yarn is great for that one because we go through all the basic stitches in that project. So a cotton yarn is great. So if you're gonna go to the yarn store, you're gonna pick out your yarn. For now, just pick one ball of yarn and the coordinating hook size. Let's just start small, right? So this yarn, uh, you're gonna look at the package. All of the companies have this, doesn't matter which brand it is. Um, this is a J hook or a six millimeter. So then you're gonna go to the yarn, the, the hook section and pick the hook that goes with the yarn that you picked. My favorite are the clover hooks. I like their whole line of hooks. Um, so if you have clover available to you, get that one. Um, but if you wanna get something different, that's totally fine too. I'll have links down below to ones that I suggest. But just you know, do your best. One hook size is gonna be a couple of dollars. This is literally a less than $10 <laughs> investment in learning how to crochet. This ball of yarn is $3.99. A hook is gonna be about five bucks depending on if you get a set and that's all you need to get started because uh, I have videos to help you with all the rest of it. So that's kind of where you want to start in terms of picking your yarn and your hooks and your projects. Okay, so you want to look for absolute beginner projects. Okay, so um, I recommend starting with either a washcloth or a scarf because both of those projects are made in a rectangle or a square. You're not doing anything in the round. You're not doing any fancy stitches and that can kind of be a smaller project that you can gain some confidence and then kind of leap into something else. Don't start with a blanket because I have, an, I have news for you. <laughs> your first uh, crochet project is going to look weird. Okay, so I want to set your expectations that your first crochet project is going to be a bit weird, which is why I think a washcloth is great because a washcloth can still function if it looks weird. It's okay, that's totally normal. You're a beginner, you're just learning how to do it. So um, I recommend something that you can just get the hang of it, you know, relax, have fun with it. 
I always tell people that it feels like you have Edward Scissorhands at first. You know, like in that movie where he's like not sure what to do with his hands. So that's what it feels like when you're first learning a new skill, which takes some fine motor skills. It's gonna be a few times before you get that muscle memory down and um, it's okay if you're, you know, kind of like, ah, I don't, you know, I don't get it. Don't, just try not to get frustrated because that's the, that's the worst thing. You know, I don't want you to get frustrated and then put it away and forget about it all together. You know, we want to like continue moving forward um, and learn how, right? So that is my recommendation. New crocheters, if you're like, I wanna learn how to crochet, where do I start? Sometimes people will say, oh, but I really, I see this hat or I see this blanket or I see this thing that I really wanna make. And you'll send me a picture of it and it's like, okay, that is not beginner, right? Okay, so then once you have made your first project, a washcloth or a scarf or something like that, then you can kind of graduate to beginner projects or advanced beginner projects, just kind of depending on how well you took to the project and, and how you sort of feel like it's going. Crochet is not going to be for everybody. Knitting isn't for everyone. Sewing isn't for everyone. Embroidery. There are so many crafts and textile projects that you can make. It's okay if crochet is like not your thing. That's totally fine. I just want you to be able to have all the tools that you need to figure that out, right? So. It's okay to go in baby steps, right? Baby steps, see how it goes. So if you see this one project, don't jump right into a project that's gonna to be too advanced because you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna give up, possibly. Uh, and then, uh, you know, that's not a good feeling. So we wanna like, <laughs> little baby steps. In no time at all, you'll be able to make that project, right? So this is video for my crocheters out there. Just a little word of encouragement just to say, you can do it. Like, it's totally fine. We're gonna do it together. I will teach you, I'll help you. Um, again, in the description box, as I've made hundreds and hundreds of videos at this point. Um, so I have a lot of these resources already set up for you guys, but I wanted to make a video kind of for selfish reasons because a lot of times people will message me and be like, I don't know where to start, I don't know what to do. And um, so this is gonna be a great video to send you to and then have everything like in one spot. We want to get to the stitching, right? We want to get, we want to get to it. Now, the other thing with crochet, um, people tend to stitch very tightly when they are first crocheting. So you'll often hear me in my videos, I'll say, okay, relax, drop your shoulders down, take a deep breath, get comfortable. And when you are doing your crochet, don't tighten that yarn. Really let the hook do the work for you. And if the hook, if it's not working right, then maybe you need to adjust your yarn or adjust your hook size. But if you're constantly tightening down your yarn, you don't want it to be too loosey goosey either because you want to be able to see what you're doing. So there is a little bit of a, of a balance with that and it's just trying it out and seeing how it goes. I think a lot of times people tense up and they're like trying to do it perfect and they, their stitches are so tight and it's just like, it ends up being stressful. We don't want it to be stressful. We want it to be relaxing. This is a meditative, peaceful project, okay? And a lot of my tutorials that I teach are meant for like being able to watch a movie or sit in the living room with your family. There's not tons of counting involved. I don't do lots of super complicated things uh, because I don't like to do those kind of things personally. I like to be able to sort of have this be part of my daily life with my family. I hope this video was helpful just to give you like an overview, just something to get you started. My biggest thing that I tell beginners, I just wanna say, it's okay. It's okay, we're gonna figure it out. And isn't that true in life? <laughs> yeah, so true in life also. So that's all for today's video. Just a quick little chatty video, um, a place, a little jumping off place, a leaping off place for your crochet. I've got more crochet uh, tutorials coming as well as sewing and quilting if you're into those kind of things, embroidery too. That's all for today's video. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one. Happy crocheting.